Hey guys, Phantom Stories here, Mary Jam. So unfortunately, all I ended up doing was cooking and prepping. So I prepped everything for the vegan and ginger beef as I had to make it. And then I cut up all the cabbage because I feel kind of bad that a lot of it's bad, but it's not completely bad. So um, I did cut three big cabbage uh, things to make uh, cabbage steak later. And then vegan cabbage steak. <laughs> That's what they call it, but they call it steak, but it's actually cabbage, but it's vegan cabbage steak, so it's actually really good. Um, and then I cut up a bunch of cabbage, so then that way it's easier when I cook now, because like um, the udon noodles that I usually make that I constantly show in this channel by Foodie Takes Flight. She also has another recipe that calls for cabbage, um, carrots, and other things. So I just kind of pre-did some cabbage and there's like a lot of other recipes that always call for cabbage. So it's not too bad. Um, I got to put in the one ton soup. Still got to make that. Didn't get around to that, unfortunately. Sorry, the water's going to go on. Because, if you guys remember, the three things I do before I go to bed <laughs> is sweep the floor, which I've done. I didn't, I don't thoroughly sweep it, but I just do around the job, so this is done now. do is clean off the oven but I already did it so earlier today so I'm gonna wait till later tonight to do it again because I'm tired <laughs> and like even though I woke up at three o'clock I'm like exhausted still so exhausted because of the medication so there's the foodie take slate with the rice and then I have some more right here this is what I'm going to eat, but I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know if it's really healthy for you, but... <laughs> I'm just good. I mean, tofu is protein. And then, if you have a rice, it's also protein. And this rice has shiitake mushrooms, which is another source of protein. So... And then onions and mushrooms. I don't think mushrooms are really healthy for you. <laughs> A little bit of sugar. I actually wonder if soy sauce is actually healthy for you or not. Because there's a lot of vegan recipes, especially for Asian, where you need uh, soy, soy sauce and it's like lots of soy sauce. So I'm always wondering about that. I guess I'll Google it. <laughs> Everything is bad for you nowadays anyways, but... I did three loads of dishes. I prepped three dishes. I just have to cook it now. But I'm going to do that later after a nap. I'm actually so tired, I don't even want to eat. But I'm really hungry, so... I'm eating this now and then I'm going to warm it up and then watch Two and a Half Men. And then another thing I do is clean up the sink. And I already did all the letters. I also wash the cutlery. So I've done a lot, but there's still so much more I gotta do. And 
and I really want to find that microphone. So, it's like I could clean the kitchen, but I mean, clean the table. But when I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen. So I'm washing the dishes, or I'm doing the floor, or I'm prepping other food dishes. I know a lot of people step away from the oven, but I don't. That's when I do the dishes. <laughs> But, oh yeah, it's also because of my medication. It's like every five, six hours I need to have. So in a way it kind of sucks. But at least in that way I do get some rest. And stuff like that. Cause it's, even though I take naps, sometimes I only really sleep like six, seven hours. So, it's weird. Limited. Oh yeah, I had to clean the bottom of the fridge, even though I got to clean the whole fridge, but the bottom was dripping, so I did that. <laughs> Oops. Step stool. Oh, you guys can't see me. <laughs> Just grabbing the lids for the containers, because... I always cover my food, so this is cabbage. Usually I write it down, like what's in it and the date, but now I don't bother because it forces me to check what's in there and clean out my fridge because sometimes I don't. <laughs> so, because I read what's on it. And sometimes some things don't last three weeks, and sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. So it's really all... Um, you still have to smell things and look at it, so you can't just go by the date <laughs> for things. I'm just wiping down the counter because of all the water. But yeah, it's like, oh, so tired. So much to do. It never ends. <laughs> It's not complaining, it's just saying that there's just so much to do. But that's why I always say there's so much to do because then when I go, when I have to go to bed, I'm like, there's always going to be stuff to do, no matter what. I can clean literally all day long. And literally the next day it's dirty anyways. <laughs> so that's why it's funny when people come over I'm like, well, if you were here two days ago it would have been clean. <laughs> it just gets so dirty. But I do have to find a microphone before I go to Victoria. So now that I've cooked some food, um, after I get up from my nap, I am going to clean the table. Because I need my freaking microphone receiver. So, yeah. Well, I do need a nap. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But, and then that way I don't overdo myself, so in a way it's kind of good, but in a way it's not good. Yeah, there's the compost. But yeah, I love these vegan, that's why I like these vegan butters, because the container is like an awesome size for Tupperware. <laughs> but I kind of love them because of that. And also people are like, oh, it's not really vegan because of the oil or something like that. And I'm like, there's palm oil in all vegan butters. I haven't found one that doesn't have palm oil in it. So, yeah, um, even if you make your own, like, I mean, yeah, coconut oil doesn't have palm oil in it. So that's why it's good, but it's freaking expensive. Like, this was seven dollars but it does last long because i don't use it all the time i just use it for baking because a lot of um 
things you usually say melt coconut oil or something so yeah it's I really want to make those peanut butter eggs again but I was just like it's either food prepping so the vegetables don't go bad or bake <laughs> and I still have the Twix burst so it's not too bad but I'm gonna try and make them tonight oh I can't believe it's already nine so I'm really glad I didn't go out because I did clean up quite a lot. Um, like I said, three loads of dishes and cutlery. And then I put all the dishes away. It's kind of a lot of work for somebody like me. Oh, I don't know. I really do want to vacuum, but I'm like, I don't know if I'll get around to it before going to Victoria. But <clears throat> we'll see. Um, tomorrow's kind of busy day because now I'm doing all my shopping tomorrow so I'm going downtown and then I'm going to go to sunrise and then get or go get my spokes and go to sunrise then go to no frills then come home by that time I'm usually tired out because it takes like at least three four hours when I go downtown and shop because I don't have a car and I kind of prefer it because it forces me to get some exercise and then because of all the walking around it makes me really tired so I'm just always tired which is another reason why I decided not to go to no frills because I don't want to walk there. <laughs> I don't know I didn't even want to put my clothes on today I'm just too, too tired I mean I got clothes on but I don't want to put like change out of my pajamas I'm just too tired but I did put my makeup on it's one reason why now like I said I keep putting my makeup on as soon as I wake up because um at least I feel like I'm doing something most people do when they wake up during the day it's just that I'm more comfortable in pajamas and I've gone to the store in pajamas before <laughs> they don't really care <laughs> but uh, just the only time I go outside is when I spoke, so, but I really need a nap, because I'm just always exhausted. It's my body more than anything, and also because when you shake, I, I think I've mentioned this a few times, but when I shake, it tires up my body and the muscles, and that's why my body is like always worn down, because even though I haven't been shaking today, I was shaking yesterday and on and off and then I showed you guys what it kind of looked like and that just the few minutes when I was shaking in the video that just tired, tired me out so I'm just like yeah it's either better sleep every five hours or shake <laughs> and I'd rather be sleeping other five hours because at least because when I'm shaking, at least before I got the medication, I was actually shaking in my sleep as well, so. Yeah, um, I'm getting tired now, so. It's a short follow me for the day. <laughs> and this might get up like around 11. So, um, I don't know, I don't really put the alarm on anymore. I just kind of wake up when I wake up, unless I really have to do something. So. We'll see 10 to 11 because then technically I only get an hour usually I wake up like around 1 or 2 I, mean, I stay up till 7 then I go back to bed again and then I wake up again and then <laughs> yeah it's pretty much my life so I do everything else in between so oh yeah this is why I did the YouTube channel because I want you guys to see what my life is like like how I can't barely function on my own sometimes and then I gotta have three cats and then I gotta worry about money on top of that and then I gotta sleep every five hours and when I tell you guys I'm going to sleep usually it takes me about an hour and then I pass out like I said I'm like so tired that I almost just want to go to sleep now but I'm also hungry so I gotta eat before I go to bed and then pass out so like all these update videos too it's none of it's fake when i'm tired i'm tired i let you guys know when i can't go out and do stuff 
that you guys know, so like, I'm not doing it to like, exaggerate my life or anything like that. This is what my life is, and it's been like this for the past two years, and if you guys know me, you guys will know all that, but some people are new, and they don't know about my shaking condition, but some people do, but yeah, it's just, it gets tiring and exhausting trying to do everything that you want to do and you can't do as well, so I <laughs> think mentally you kind of need to sleep too, like every five hours. I know like a lot of people with disabilities and conditions, they sleep every five hours too. It's not just me, it's just because we could only do so much. And until we get mentally tired, and then that's when we have to kick a nap. So, unfortunately, it's just the way that it is because our bodies are so fucked up, messed up. <laughs> I keep trying not to swear, but it is what it is. So, sadly, I have to go to bed. But I'm gonna go for a few smokes, throw, put the compost in the bin, go for a few smokes, watch Twist of Minds, watch. Uh, two and a half men eat and then take a nap and if I wake up like around one then I'll record a video but if I don't record a video again you guys know that means I ended up passing out all night but sometimes that happens so I do set my alarm for the next day for like eight or nine <clears throat> just so then that way I kind of wake up but yeah, it's just so tiring and exhausting to be me sometimes. <laughs> and put it mildly, like sometimes I just want to sleep literally all day long. Today was one of those days, but I still got up and I still did stuff because I was hungry and the cats and now I have to go back to bed, but at least I did what I could. And that's why I said I always rinse my dishes now. I always sweep the floor. I swept the kitchen floor and the bathroom floor. And yeah, I always try to do it just as much as I can. So that's why I don't watch TV until I go to bed because then that way I gotta choose what I want to do with my time wisely. That's why I don't shower every day either, because I know some people are saying, oh, they only take two showers per week. I'm like, I used to take a shower every night, but now I just don't, because I just do as much as I can until I'm tired, and then that's when I eat, and then that's when I go to bed. <laughs> so, that's how I've been doing it. I don't know if it'll be any different when I'm in Victoria or not, but it'd be interesting to see. It's one reason why I kind of want to go to Victoria, is to see because I don't have so many responsibilities about cleaning a place and I don't have to look after the cats and do this and do that. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of curious to see if my condition is going to be any better or if it will be any worse or like what it'll be like. So <clears throat> we'll find out <laughs> in Victoria. So that's not till Thursday morning. So yeah. Um, this is it for today, and this is why I wake up, like, before midnight, but it's a sh very short follow me for the day because <laughs> I've literally been sleeping all day today, and I'm still tired, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, by the time I pass out, it'll be, like, 10, 10.30, so it'll be, like, almost 11, so I'm probably either gonna fall asleep to at least 2, or I'm gonna just sleep all night, so... It all depends. I don't, I just listen to my body now. I don't force myself because that's not good either. So yeah, stay posted. Um, but like I said, that's why I keep updating you guys throughout the day so you guys know exactly what I'm going through and my world and all that jazz. So yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, turn on your notifications, donate if you can. And welcome to my haunted world, OG XOXO.